Hey guys, it's Landon from RH. This is the third video in the set of videos I'm doing that show you how to use some of the basic tools in Inkscape. Uh, some of my other videos are getting a little old, so I'm doing this set of videos in Inkscape 1.3, the latest version here in 2023. And in the last video, we showed you how to draw some basic shapes. In this video, I want to explain how the SVG coordinate system works. Um, if you're coming from a CAD environment, it is it is a different type of coordinate system. And um, it is, so it's unlike the default coordinate system in CAD, but it but it's also unlike the, the coordinate systems that most surveyors work with. So uh, to explain, uh, the coordinate system in SVG is based on your page. And you can see right here, it shows you the X, Y, Z coordinates on the page as you move around. So in Inkscape, because it's very document focused, there is no model space, right? You only have paper space. So that the zero coordinate is always the top left corner of the page. And then the, the coordinate increases as you move down the page or south and across the page to the right or east. So your X goes up as you move east, your X ordinate and your Y ordinate moves, increases as you go down. All right, so let's uh, draw you some, sh some shapes and demonstrate that. So we're, we're going to draw a rectangle here and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the stroke just because it'll make things a little easier. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and open up the XML editor. Now, a couple important things about the XML editor. Even though I have my units in Inkscape set to inches in the page setup and, and the display, um, when you open the XML editor, you're, you're getting a little closer to the raw SVG file. And so the, the units in that XML editor are going to be pixels. Okay, so at the, the way I have this set up um, with uh, standard US page size and in inches as my units, there are 25.4 Inkscape units to the inch. Okay, so if you look at this, you can see um, right now the X and the Y location of the top left corner of the rectangle are one inch, 25.4, 25.4, and you can see the height and width. Now you'll notice you can edit these. If I make this 25.4, I'm going to get uh, a rectangle that's actually a square, one inch by one inch. Okay. So if you understand how the units work in Inkscape, you can open the XML editor and, and edit things with a little more precision than you can with just the hand tools. Uh, so if you're a CAD user, that, that's, that's super helpful to know. Um, and, it, and the same thing works for pass. So if we, uh, if we draw a line segment here, a, a path, turn on my stroke. Um, and you can see if you open the path, it moved to 33.02, 33.02, and then it drew the path to these coordinates. So you can actually use this to draw very precise lines. So if I want to go from one inch to one inch, I can type in those coordinates. And then uh, let's just go from zero comma zero. Oh, I lost it forever. Where did it go? All right, so that didn't work as that didn't work as good as I wanted. What if we do it the other way? Nope, I lost it. All right, let's try it again. Oh, there it is. For whatever reason, my... That's weird. For whatever reason, reason I lost my stroke there. All right, let's try this again. So you gotta be careful when you're messing with the XML editor. I can't remember if I deleted the end there by accident. So let's set this to zero, 00 just so you guys can see that that works. Zero com, zero point zero. So when we say okay, okay, so now that 
endpoint move to zero zero, and then let's see if we can get this just at the one inch by one inch mark. Yep. Okay, so you can see if you understand the SVG coordinate system in the XML editor, um, you can actually uh, do some do some precision drawing in. In Eatscape. Now, I'm going to do some other videos that show you how you can use geometry constructions and some other kind of tricks of, tricks to mimic the precision drawing that you get in CAD in Eatscape because it's it's not necessarily intuitive if you were um, a CAD user when you come to Eatscape how to do that precision drawing. Now, one other useful thing I will show you is um, you can actually name your IDs. You can name your elements here in AutoCAD. Um, so if you come into the XML editor and then click ID, um, oop, that didn't work. Let me draw another another line here. So if you click this, you can set the ID, um, and then you can search for those. You can you can use the find command to search for those. So uh, that's kind of handy. So then you can give it kind of a, a, a sensible ID. All right, guys, I think that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Just wanted to explain the SVG coordinate system and how you can get access to those coordinates in the XML editor. Just remember that the XML editor is working with the raw Inkscape units, not the display units or the units that you set your page size up in. That's important. Um, now, if, you, if you're not sure what that multiplier is, I'll show you this one last thing. If you come in and just draw a path, so I know this path should be one inch long. So if you do that and then you come into the XML editor, you can figure out, if you draw your path starting at zero, zero, you can figure out that the scale is 25.4. You can see that there, okay? Or if you want, you can use your measure tool, okay? Ooh, and uh, we can measure that length with the measure tool, okay? Oh, now that's telling us inches, right? So yeah, so the best way to get to it is through the XML editor. So. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. The next video, I'm going to show you how to do some basic things with text, how to draw text and, uh, and edit and modify your text in Inkscape, and then how to set, set text on a baseline grid.